So we're going to finish off the design work, the CAD work, by logging into Vault as Dave Designer and going over to My Work List. So the My Work List is basically just kind of an inbox of change orders uh, for which you are responsible for. So inside of the change orders, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at um, all the changes we made. The change order, by the way, uh, keeps track of all the comments and all of the stages within the change order. We can see that um, all the files are affected. Uh, if we want, we can take a look at the DWF of all the files affected. We know that we've made changes and made updates to it. What the, the ECO does is it's a central location, a central source for all of the participants in that particular routing to go in and see all of the data. So going over to the status tab, let's uh, move this out of our inbox and move it into the check state. And we can put in a comment and uh, optionally this can be set up to send an email notification to the next person in the list. In this case, Dave is saying uh, the files are updated, the vehicle issue has been resolved, the CAD work is done. But in order to you know, make sure that we wrap a process around this and you know we want to make sure somebody checks it so the next person in line is actually Charlie Checker so we'll log in as Charlie Checker and again we'll go over to the my work list this was previously empty but now that it's been moved to the checking state this is something that uh, Charlie has to go in and just validate that the designs are good that everything's up to date so coming in here we see the comments is a running list of all of the activities we see that the drawings are updated. Notice the revision tables are up there. Uh, when it comes to taking a look at, well, what was this issue? Well, let's take a look. We see that we have the drawing is updated, and that looks correct. Taking a look at the markup, there's the markup as it was. So again, the change order is capturing all of the relevant data. So it looks like Dave did the work. So Charlie will go in and click on approve and every step of the way as somebody approves it and uh, moves it to the next stage there is an opportunity to add a comment and upon clicking on OK the comment and the notification will be sent to the next participant in the routing. So now it's up for review and this is uh, the person that comes in and reviews it uh, can actually at that point uh, reject it and send it all the way uh, back or they can uh, approve it to the next stage. So the, re the approver in this case is Mike Manager. So as Mike logs in, he can go in and actually without even opening up the uh, ECO, just go and quickly look through, make sure that the changes are made, make sure everything's right. Zoom in again, make sure that the drawing is set right and go in and uh, approve. This can be done with a right click, respond, and click on approve. So now these files are uh, it's set in an approved state. Notice the little lock icon up there on the ECO. At this point, it's time for Mike to finish up the designs. It's in the approved, and before we close everything out, he's going to go in, take all of the files, so all of the files that have a life cycle state of work in progress, we're going to just uh, move that forward and change the state to released. This is done through selecting the proper release process, select released, and release the rest of the files. As those are released, Let's go and make sure that all of the items, there's three items here, let's make sure that those have their metadata updated, their quantities, um, all of the, the data that we've uh, mapped out of the files into the items. Let's go and update that. And finally, let's close out the ECO, and this is done by setting the effectivity. We're going to set this to be immediately effective, which is going to do a number of things. It's going to close the ECO, it's going to go in and release all of the items and now by hitting refresh we can see that that's out of my work list. That's out of Dave's work list, Mike's work list. And finally, this whole project of, of changing, identifying that 
from the 3D markup, the creation of the ECO and everything, this was what we would call a project. So now that the completion of the project, we're going to go in and take that project and we're going to edit the properties. We're going to mark the percent complete to be 100% complete. You could also mark this to archived. And now that uh, that design is uh, complete, we can take the uh, take and move on to the next redesign. But if we ever go back to the bogey redesign, we have a shortcut or a link rather to all of the data that was part of that redesign project from the markups to the files to the change order.